Okay, hey, uh, this is Mark with uh, Painted Thumb Vids, and I have just arrived at uh, ReaperCon, got registered, and picked up my swag bag, and boy, what a deal that is. If you're coming to ReaperCon and you're considering getting uh, admission, choose the admission that includes the swag bag, because there's a lot in here. This is going to be an unboxing or unbagging video of uh, everything that comes with the Reaper Con swag bag for 2018. Uh, so I'm going to go through a few of the things here. First of all, you get this pretty awesome looking bag. Uh, pretty good, uh, good quality stuff. It's got the Reaper Con logo. It's it's beautiful colors. I really like it. Um, first and foremost, I guess let's start pulling some stuff out. Here is the Reaper Con program. Tells you all the events, all the games, all the all the uh, classes that are being held. Let's see what else we got here. It looks like some coupons to some place called Cowboy Chicken. Never been there, but hey, it's we got some coupons. What else we got in here? Some cool stuff. Let's see. Here we go. Some UV sunglasses, I guess, just in case. I'm not sure. Uh, what else we got? Let's pull out these books. Because yes, there are books in here. Got, looks like a looks like a free um, event, uh, or I'm sorry, a free uh, campaign book. I'm not sure if that's what this is, or if it's just a one one-off adventure um, called from Castles and Crusades. That's in there. Got, here's a looks like a free game. Um, Oh no, it's a Dunes of Desolation. It says it's Pathfinder uh, Pathfinder compatible. Um, yeah, this looks like some kind of uh, uh, RPG game. There is a Reaper University folder here. And if you look inside, there's lots of documentation here these are instructions on the uh, how to enter the open uh, painting competition some advertisements for other conventions uh, a sticker uh, other marketing type products are you know advertisements that sort of thing so that's nice um, another thing that's cool is this Reaper class notes it's got this uh, awesome little notepad that uh, also has a Ziploc baggie in the back that's attached to the binding. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, another thing, looks like there's some painting uh, uh, accessories here. There's a dry palette here. Nice hard plastic one. Uh, looks like we've got a little cup, a little water cup, I imagine. And... One, one bottle of cotton candy color uh, paint. And inside this cup, I guess this is a water cup. I'm not sure exactly what. Well, you can do whatever you want with it, I suppose. Uh, looks like some miniature, uh, some very small miniatures inside the cup. Like here's a little mimic barrel. Uh, oh, this is cool. A little Scotty Dog miniature uh, for free. He's pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly. He's probably somebody's familiar, or maybe a maybe a monster. Um, Reaper Bones uh, pin. You can attach that to whatever. And oh, nice. Oh, here we go. Some bombshell minis. Uh, they included some uh, uh, op uh, separate. Uh, Weapons. That's pretty nice. Those are some cool looking weapons too. Let's see what else we've got. Looks like uh, another free sample of paint. This is... Uh, uh, I'm not sure how you'd say this. Stinleris? 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 Anyway, uh, it's a primer. So there's free there. Looks like we've got. What do we got here? This is some kind of. What is this? This looks like a kind of uh, a mold, I think. 
uh, for green stuff or some other material that you have. And it looks like uh, some kind of alien fungus terrain you might make out of this stuff. Uh, the sponsor is happysepaku.com. I'm not sure how about what that is, but uh, looks like we got some stone tiles from Frontline Games. Hey Mario, how are you doing? And then now here's the cool part. Got some figs as part of the thing. Oh, also got a cool uh, pen, free Reaper Con pen. So anyway, could always always need that. All right, so on to the miniatures that were in this bag. Yeah, there's some miniatures that actually showed up. Uh, the official ReaperCon Sophie, you know, kind of a uh, Sophie in a dress, wearing uh, with wings. And there we go. Dark Sword miniatures. This is a Tiger Lily pug mage. Uh, it's basically a pug head on top of a, a magician. There you go. And then what else we've got? More Reaper stuff. Mad Maws and Wild Child. Which is uh, some of their mouselings. We've got a and this one. Oh, this is the Blood Wolf because I, uh, when you register at ReaperCon, they ask you what faction you want to join. I decided to join the Blood Wolf faction, and uh, they gave me the Blood Wolf uh, miniature. He's pretty cool. Looks like uh, some kind of. Uh, uh, King-like warrior with long cloak and a huge sword. That's pretty cool. What else we got? Um, another miniature. All right. Hey, I like this. A, a dwarf. Um, a dwarf brewmaster. A dwarf holding a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of beer. That's awesome. I love dwarfs that drink a lot. Here we go. And then here we go. Uh, another package of. Uh, Paint samples. Uh, not sure. I can't read the colors on all of them, but uh, oh no, here we go. I'll just go ahead and open it. But anyway, it's a sample of uh, the Master Series uh, paints. I'm gonna just go ahead and open it up. Let's see, bruised purple and black indigo, and then. Uh, this one, Ashen Rose, that's this color. So a lot of interesting colors and some primer. So uh, The swag bag is a great deal. I would highly recommend it. If you are coming to ReaperCon, get it. You get all this stuff here. You get quite a good collection of uh, gaming, painting accessories. It's worth it. Um, okay, that's it for now. And uh, I'll give you another update when uh, we start taking classes. I'll talk to you later.